on Turkey Lane. Today I have a really cute little craft project to share with you. Um, so I want to bring you along. I have found, guys, it, it is so cute. This cutesy, cutesy little, um, I guess that's a cheese board or like a cutting board. And it, it is just so cute. I got it at um, a local flea market for 25 cents. I got it a little while back and I've been wanting to do something with it and it took me quite a while before I figured out what it was that I wanted to do with it. And so I thought I would bring you along. I finally decided what it is that I wanna do. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, aim you down at my project area here. Um, I have laid out um, a brown paper bag um, so that way I don't mess up my, my kitchen table. I'm doing this inside the house. I probably should do it out in the garage. Um, but that's my habit. I have a habit of just doing things um, in the house. I had at one time until recently a, um, a like a craft room here in the house, just right behind me here I had in my sunroom area, I had it set up to be my craft area. Um, but our house does not have a pantry in the kitchen area or anything. So we are turning the sunroom into kind of a makeshift pantry type thing. And so now I'm back to kind of working at the kitchen table for most of my little craft projects. So, but anyway, this, this cutesy, cutesy little pig, um, I am going to uh, stain it, sand it a little bit because it does have some, especially this side, has a lot of cut marks in it. Somebody, the, it was a very well loved and very well used little, little cutting board. Um, but anyway, I am going to stain it, and then I am going to hang it in my kitchen, um, and I will show you that uh, when I'm done. But right now, let's get started. I, I want the little face of the pig on my wall where it's pointing this direction, and so this is the side that I really need to sand and make sure is stained well. And since I said like it's, it was a very well-loved little piglet, and um, so there's lots of knife marks. I don't think you can see them real well, but maybe if I get this real close, you might see all those knife marks in there. So I don't think I'll get all those out and I'm not really wanting to get all of them out. I'm just gonna kind of sand it down just a little bit. Get a little bit smoother of a finish. My uh, sanding block has seen better days. It's pretty rough anymore. So, um, and this is a, a quick little project. And you know what, I don't, I tried looking on Amazon to see if I could like find any of these that if you wanted to, to buy one yourself and because they're just so cute. Um, but I could not find anything exactly like this. And most of the like cutting boards I did find were quite a bit larger than this. So, um, but, um, and this might have been something that somebody cut out by hand. I, I really don't know. I don't think so because the type of wood it is doesn't look like something you could buy like at the hardware store or anything. So, um, but anyway, I've got some um, dark walnut finish and so I'm just gonna, or some stain. So I'm just gonna open that up a little bit. And as you can see, I have uh, rubber gloves on because um, I don't want to get stain all over my hands and uh, you kind of, in order to get your hands nice and clean, you kind of have to use um, like gasoline or mineral spirits or something like that and I just don't want to go through that trouble. So um, so anyway, I've got my paintbrush and I've got my stain and I'm just going to stain him. I'm going to put some stain on there. And this is going to be pretty dark, but I'm going to cover cover him completely here. And then as soon as I get this side done, I'm gonna take some, um, some paper towels and wipe the excess stain off. Okay. 
some napkins here right now. I had some extra napkins at the house, so I'm just gonna use those. And the reason I wanna stain it, I would have left him a natural color, um, but my walls are white, and I didn't want to leave him the natural color because I he would blend in way too much. So uh, I thought I would stain him a darker color. Okay, and now I'm gonna go around the edges with my, uh, my paintbrush that probably still has plenty enough stain on it to go ahead and cover, but maybe it don't. You might be able to hear my daughter in there. I don't know what she's doing, who she's talking to or what she's doing, but you can probably hear her in her room talking um, on her phone or whatever. And my husband is outside. It's a little bit chilly out today. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time out there because uh, it's been a rainy day, kind of a rainy and just real chilly day. I'm hoping um, that uh, the weekend is a little bit warmer because I have quite a few things I'd like to do and um, I want to be able to get outside a little bit and different things like that. So anyway, I'm just going around the edges. I know that you can see all of that. Um, so there we go. I think we got around the edges quite a bit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and stain the other side. I really don't have to because you're only gonna see one side on the wall, but if, in the future, and see, I've already got, see, I'm a messy, messy crafter. I've got a little bit of stain on my arm already, which won't be that big of a deal. They're just little speckles, and you're not going to be able to see it that much. Um, but anyway, though, uh, you won't see this side hanging on my wall. I figured if for any reason in the future that I decide to use it someplace else, and, it, and you need to see this side of it, it will be finished. Or if, you know down the road um i want to get rid of it it needs to be finished it needs to look like it's completely finished and it's all one solid thing so um, i'm just going to go ahead and do the whole thing that way it's it's all done and so i'm wiping off that excess uh, stuff there and um then we're going to give it a chance to dry real good before I hang it. And um, so we've got a little, um, not really a trip. But I mean, we, we do this quite often on the weekends. But um, this weekend, I am going to be going to a couple... Um, fairly local. They're still about, you know, 45 minutes to an hour away, but some um, discount grocery places. Um, one of them is a, well, they're both very neat. One of them is Amish. It's a, or a Mennonite, like Amish Mennonite type uh, place. And um, so I thought for a treat, I would bring you guys along on that. So anyway, there you go, and you can see see where all the cut marks and everything were. You can see that this is a, a really was a really loved little piglet because he's a lot darker there in the middle. Um, but I think he's going to be just great where I want to hang him at. And um, but anyway, I will come back when all of the uh, stain is dry and we're ready to hang him. Okay. And um, also, be looking forward to uh, our Saturday, our weekend trip to the, the um, I'm gonna fold those gloves up inside each other there. Sorry, my big old arm's in the way. Anyway, be looking forward to the trip on Saturday. I will tell you where these stores are located at in case you're in my area and you wanna go to them uh, sometime on your own. But uh, my husband and I, we love, I don't like grocery shopping, hardly ever. I, I almost hate grocery shopping. It's a, it's a chore sometimes. 
but I love going to the discount grocery stores. They always have um, really, really good deals. Some of them have um, even unique items that you don't find just everywhere. Um, but I think you'll like going along with us. And so um, join me back here. It, the post will probably post later Saturday night or Sunday morning, but join me for that. I think you'll really like it. So I will be back whenever this little cutesy little pig is dry and we're ready to hang it. See you in a bit. Okay guys, so my little piggy is dry. We've stained him and he is completely dry. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna drill a hole. I know it's already got two holes. It's got one where the eye is and one where the tail is, but I don't wanna put two nail holes in the wall where I'm gonna hang him. So I have got my drill with a very small little tip and I am just gonna drill a hole right here kind of in the center. See if I can kind of eyeball the center there. And then I'm just gonna drill a little hole. Now I did put uh, my sanding pad right underneath him so that way I didn't drill through my nice kitchen table. And um, so I'll be right back and I'm gonna show you where we're gonna put him. Okay, so I got my hammer and nails and we're gonna put them just right above this window in the kitchen, above the sink. And so even though I know you know how to hang things, um, I just wanted you to come along since you watched me um, stay in the little pig. Hopefully I can reach it from over here. Um, I can't get any closer to the sink than this. And I'm gonna get my nail. Above there. Now, if I fall down and I kill myself, you're not going to see this video. Okay, so there we are. I think it's centered. Probably ain't, but I think it's centered, and I think it looks pretty cute. So, um. Now, the uh, trim on this window is eventually going to be painted whenever I get a chance to do that. So, but for right now, we're just going to hang my little piggy up there. And um, that's going to be its home for a little while unless I decide to change my mind and do something else. So, there you go. There's that little project. It was so easy. took not very long at all. The longest time it took was just waiting for the stain to dry. So, um, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you um, liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment if you want to comment on something. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. There, there will be more craft projects, more cooking for sure, and just a variety of things to come. So, um, and don't forget about uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow we will be going to the discount grocery stores and I don't know if they'll let me film um, at those places, but I'm gonna ask if I can. And um, I'd like to take you along, show you the stores, I'll show you um, some of the really good deals that we get there at those places and talk to you a little bit about discount grocery stores. Um, so stay tuned for that video. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Um, give this video a thumbs up and share it with every one of your friends. Have a good night.